Yo, people, it's no longer news that Olori Toby Phil is brought in foreign girls into the palace. But the question we should be asking now, did she bring it because of the love she had for Kabiesi? Or what is the motive behind bringing these girls into the palace? Hello, everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your favorite baby girl, Zhao Zenita on the microphone. If you're new to my channel, I'll appreciate you. To my returning subscribers, thank you so, so much. You understand? The alien who reside with you shall be with you as a citizen among you. So imagine going to bring an alien god into the house. What was Toby Phyllis' motive? You understand? What is her motive? Because uh, hmm, hmm, there are so many motives. Oh. Anyone who lived among the Jews but was far from the ethnic group, that person is a stranger, a sojourner, a foreigner. It's, you understand? That is what Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 28 say. Why we um, Olori actually be living in the palace and she's bringing in a foreign god? Do you understand? What is the implication? What is she trying to do? What is she trying to claim? What is that thing she's trying to make us believe that she is? Does she want to show that she is the all-powerful? She is the all-merciful? She is the one that have all the power? She needs to let us know what she's doing and what she's thinking. Because right now... Hmm, only of Ife is, is getting confused by the day, asking what is this. But if they are saying, and um, Olori actually is trying to make Oni know that I am protecting you and that is what I'm doing. Yes, I'm not exchanging your glory. I'm the plan of God in your life is still there. The godly things and the good things God wanted to do is there. But it's just that now, if a prince is saying that there is a power that is hijacking the power of Oni, that there is a power of darkness that is somewhere hijacking the power of Oni, and that is what we don't know right now. Is it the gods Cap and, and Toby Phillips brought? Why would she bring all those gods from abroad and say it's active? Earth? You understand? She is not supposed to bring that because at the end of the day, if you look at it, you can't serve two masters. Kabi and C, you need to tell her she can't serve two masters. Because even on Psalm 63, verse 3, say, My lips will glorify you. If uh, she is a traditionalist, Olori Ashley, and you, you are a traditionalist, if she cannot glorify you, if she cannot satisfy you with her lips, and she cannot glorify you with her lips, she went and bring another God, meaning she's saying that this God is superior to your God. Let's say the way it is, she's going to seek help outside. Why would she go and seek help outside when, she, when you people have the God in your own palace? Why would she go and bring in some things that are impure into the palace? And she is a princess. She is a, she, she is a spiritual head. She is a calabash carrier. She is supposed to know that certain things are not supposed to come into the palace. She is doing as if she, is, she, is not, she doesn't even believe in the traditional things she is doing. My brothers, my sisters, only have entered though. Only have entered though because this one is no more, is no more in order. The, that thing she brings that one of the Ifa prince said that that gods they are trying to carry only of Ife's power and put inside that 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 artifact she brought that they brought it from a particular kingdom in Nigeria yeah they don't want to announce that kingdom that those people sold bought it and sold it abroad and actually went and brought it back so what they are suggesting is for them to return those artifacts back to those kingdom but actually saying it's her own that she bought it but they are trying to let her know that this thing you bring is not good it's not good that they've come to hijack uh, uh the power in Oni, that they want to remove all the favor in Oni, they want to remove all the success in Oni, they want to remove all the glory in Oni, they want to remove all the influence in Oni, they want to remove all the wealth, then they will not settle their bad belly inside Oni, God forbid, God forbid, that all the things that were not ordained inside Oni, that the essence of Oni being the king, that it will be removed, oh, 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 Oni, your destiny will not be stolen in Jesus' name, your destiny will not be buried in the mighty name of Jesus, you people should take away that thing Ashley brought. Go and burn it, throw it away, or let her take it to a paparism house. What is this? Anybody that wants to rob Oni of his glory, the person will not succeed. Ah 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 ah. After Oni have attained this kind of throne, they will not come. Go and bring him foreign gods. You know if he work now. That's what I'm saying. He cannot work. Kole work. Kole work. At this point in time. At this point in time. I'm just saying that as it is, Oni is supposed to know the people that like him and the people that do not like him. Because you marry to somebody does not mean that you should be collecting everything the person is bringing. Somebody that is coming to bring your career down. There are so many reasons why this thing actually did is wrong. 
Because Ashley has spiritual eyes, she's supposed to know that this thing she's bringing is not good. This thing she's bringing is not good at all, at all. But she brought it to the palace. Because why? Because she have her own motive. She have something. Maybe she wants to become the most wealthy Olori. So that only will not start respecting her. Because according to them, the reason why KBSC is loving Miriam so much and is loving Miriam so much is because Miriam have love. You understand? It's because Miriam have too much money. But go and have your money. Don't hate. Not that you bring something to come and cover on your people's glory. It's not good at all, at all. Ashley, do you have relationship with that thing you brought? Now you are bloodline with Oni because you've married Oni. So all those things you bring, this thing now is utter versus utter. Ashley might be innocent. She might just buy the things and feel, oh, these things are fine. Let me bring it since I'm a traditionalist. But she don't know that some things you bring will destroy your life. They will destroy your marriage. They will destroy your financial stability. They will just come and switch destiny. And that is why the Ifa priests are saying that they don't want anything that will come and switch in only destiny. Anything that is not natural, anything that is a god to other people, don't bring it to the palace. Because that thing she brought, they say it's a strong man. You might be seeing it as artifact. You might be seeing it as drawing. But it's a strong man. And they say if a little blood just touched that thing and it activated, eh? That the head, the earth will shake. That the comic will shake. That it is game over. That they will not know. Thank God, say blood have not touched this thing. Whether human blood though, whether artificial blood though, anywhere you see it from. Hey, that only will stumble. Thank God, this if a priest, they saw this one on time. Oh. Thank God they saw it on time. That this thing did not come to pass. How, what are we, what we will not say, ah, only of if they are used to. God forbid, only of if cannot be used to. Ah, uh ah. -uh. A man that the Lord has blessed, a man that the Lord has changed his destiny, a man that the Lord has changed his career, then somebody will just from nowhere, will just from nowhere because she's caused herself love. And now Ashley is saying she did all that thing because of love, because she know only of if a like like artwork. Yes, he like artwork, but you're supposed to use your brain to know that it's not certain artwork you will buy. No certain things you'll be. You have a third eye. Why don't you add your third eye to make you to see things? You are not asking your third eye something. You bring something demonic to the palace. They will come and exchange KBS's life. They will come and exchange KBS's glory. They will come and exchange KBS's love. What is it? Or you too, you want to collect the throne because it's like all of you now, your plan is to collect the throne. Only of Ife has been ordained. Only of Ife has been ordained. That is his position. He is high there. And he is high on the seat of power. And nobody can unseat him. Not the government. Not the entertainment industry. Not the education. Not the ministry. Not even the spiritual world. You people will struggle. You cannot remove Only of Ife. What is it? What is it? Only of Ife is standing Gidigba. He's standing Gidigba. He's standing. So right now. Thank God if our prince have seen all this thing, you know, there shall be no stolen blessing. There shall be no stolen blessing. Because what is it? You just see that people will be suffering from nothing. You don't know that it's something that some, somebody brought that is making people to suffer. May God not allow somebody ignorant to put a whole kingdom in, in, in jeopardy. May God not allow somebody ignorant to, to carry somebody's destiny and swap with rubbish. May God not allow ignorant to allow person bring a, a demonic thing to remove spiritual power from people. Ha! My God, my God, why have thou forsaken thy children? Oh, 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 freedom at last. You see, when they say when you are always in a hurry, you are always in a hurry. You will not see where you are going to. You will not see where you are coming from. Always in a hurry. Look at it now. Look at it. Kabie, see? Leave these women alone. No, you will not hear. Look at what the women are doing to you now. Look at what the women are doing to you now. My brothers, my sisters. Ah, I said I should come and let you guys know that this is happening. No, see you guys later now. Do well to subscribe, like, comment. Peace out.